Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, I was just trying to pitch the contact. You know, Higgy called a great game, and we had a pretty good game plan, and was just trying to just attack. Luke Voigt had mentioned that you had said to him you were even a little bit nervous coming into this one. How did you kind of harness those nerves? Man, I don't know. It's just something that uh, it's every time. You know, every time my first time out, um, you know, I was out there the first inning, I was like shaking. Um, but uh, it felt good just to be back out there, be with the guys, and, you know, it was good to get a win today. Like you fought him a little bit. You want to go back out for the six? Did you feel you had more? Did you feel? Yeah, that you no. I, I felt good, um, and and uh, you know I felt like the game we were rolling. You know, like I said, Higgy was calling a good game, and um, you know I just felt good. I wanted to go back out, but you know Domingo stepped up, did a great job. Um, you know, Britt and Chappy closing it out, so it was good. What did you say to him, CC? Uh, I thought I had more pitches. You know, um, but you know it is what it is. You know that was part of the plan, so it worked out. Do the great defensive plays in back you, does that get you psyched up a little more, too? Yeah, of course. Um, makes makes a huge difference when the guys are playing great defense, um, especially like your first game back when, you, you know, you're just trying to kind of get into the groove and these guys are playing great um, behind you. just makes it that much better. Given the way things have kind of gone the last week and year, how, you know, how does it kind of make everybody feel to get a win like this today? Every year it makes me feel good. You know, I haven't been here, so um, you have to ask those guys, but it just feels good to be back and, and be around the guys and, you know, hopefully we just keep adding our guys back and keep adding our guys back and get our full team back. Did you kind of feel like you had to kind of stabilize the ship, so to speak? I mean, I always feel like I need to pitch good. Um, you know, it didn't really matter what we were going through. It was just, you know, you want to go out and perform well every time. So can you talk about that first inning that you were shaking? I mean, what, what it felt like to finally be back in front of the crowd? Yeah, it's just, it's just the nerves, you know, just being back out there, um, you know, thinking from where I came from, you know, in December. You know, and actually being back out on the mound uh, was cool, you know, but uh, I was able to kind of harness those nerves and, um, you know, get that ground ball, that, that last hit, that last hitter, and was able to just go out and kind of be smooth after that. Everything you went through in December, did you feel like it was going to be a long road ahead, or did you just expect that you would get back out there and be your old self? I knew I would get back out there. Um, I didn't know how long it was going to take. Um, obviously, this was a lot quicker than I think anybody anticipated. Um, so it just feels good to be back. Is that a new kind a of nerve feeling, like being nervous today, just your first start of the year? Nah, it's all the time. You have a special relationship with Nova. What was it like seeing him out there and, and how he did? It was great, and, and uh, I knew he was going to be good today. Um, you know, he'd been calling me all week, you know, saying that we were lining up and all this stuff. So uh, it was good to see him pitch well, especially I know he wanted to pitch good back here in Yankee Stadium. Um, you know, Nova's like a little brother to me, so um, I'm always wishing him well. CC J Half here asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how were you able to paint the corners for the first big league start in six months? I got nothing for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you feel a little more, you know, emotional and sentimental as this year goes on. I don't think so, man. I, I mean, you know, maybe at, at the end of the year, but while I'm in it, I mean, I'm, you know, we're trying to win a championship, and that's all I can really focus on. Any message to the younger guys on dealing with struggles, given the recent performance? It's the big leagues. You're going to struggle. Um, you just got to keep going out every day, working hard, and um, trying to right the ship. Cece, what is it? Your, your competitive level is always high, but what is it about winning that kind of fires you up and makes you feel like? Uh, that's what we're here to do. You know, and that's what you sign up to be a Yankee is, is to win. And, and uh, you know, the front office and, and the Steinbrenners do a good job of, of trying to put us in the position to win the championship every year. And it's up to us to go out and do that. So we take pride in that.